Welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to code the rest of the no-nonsense forex money management system, which involves closing only half of the trade when the take profit is hit, and moving the stop loss on the other half to break even and letting it run to capture more of the trend. So let's dive straight in. This is where we left off in the last video. First we need to change the open function to open two trades whenever we get an entry signal. So let's copy this execute market order line and divide the trade amounts by two. For the second leg of the trade, we don't want any take profit, so we'll just change the ATR to null. And now you can see when the take profit level is hit, only half of the trade is closed and the other half is left to run. But we also want to move our stop to break even, so let me show you how to do that. We can use this handy API reference explorer to find all of the functions in CTrader. The function we want to use is positions.closed, which triggers every time a position is closed. To use this function, we need to put this line in the on start section to subscribe to the position close event. Then we'll need to create a separate positions on closed function, which will contain the code we want to execute when a position is closed. And we can just use this example function here. I'll just get rid of the code in the middle. What we want to do is check if the position was closed by a take profit. And we can check this by using if args.reason is equal to position close reason dot take profit. And when this happens, we want to find the other leg that is still open. So I'll create a variable named position and I'll use positions.find to find any positions with the label NNFX. I'm also going to change these labels to get rid of the long and shorts, just to keep our code a bit cleaner. Then we can just use modify position and we'll give it the position that we just found. And for the stop loss, we can just use position.entry price to move it to break even. We don't need to take profit, so we're going to set that to null. So let's see it in action. Here the take profit got hit and you can see that the stop loss is now at our entry price. And now the remaining leg will stay open until the exit indicator flips or the price moves back to your entry price. And on this particular trade we managed to catch an extra 100 pips. Okay, let's move on to trailing stops now. And just like everything else I've shown you in CTrader, it's actually super easy. All we need to do is go back to our modify position line and after the null we just need to add an extra parameter to set the trailing stop to true. Now when we run the bot again, it will hopefully run perfectly. I hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed this series, you can buy me a coffee to say thanks. I'll be taking a break from making videos over Christmas, so this will be the last video this year. But I'll definitely be back with more content for you guys in 2021. So have a great holidays and I'll see you next year.